Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Knust with your forecast. We do have a chance at a few thunderstorms this evening, mainly in southeast Iowa, where a level two risk for severe weather is in place. This stretches from Lamoni to Ottumwa in areas south and east of those locations. Meanwhile, most of us in central and especially northern Iowa look to be dry for the rest of the day today. So let's go through future cast for the rest of the day and storms should get going here right around dinner time. And there is potential for damaging winds more more so than any other severe weather parameter. So we're going to keep an eye out for that locally heavy rain possible with maybe isolated spots getting over an inch. Once again, most of us, including Des Moines, will avoid these storms and this rainfall. Here's what our models projecting for rain again. Isolated spots could get over an inch of rainfall. Most are not going to get even that much, but uh, moisture is kind of needed at this point, so we'll take what we can get at this point. Now dew points are going to be dropping as we head into the overnight hours falling to the 50s and we'll stay with with dew points in the 50s on Wednesday. Uh, basically, that means it's going to be a lot more comfortable tomorrow compared to what we have seen recently. It's going to be a refreshing break from the humidity. It's still going to be pretty warm, just not as hot as what we've seen the past few days. Your day planner for Wednesday in Des Moines showing temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 80s in most spots. 88 are forecast high on Wednesday in Des Moines, 89 in Grinnell. 87 in Ottumwa. We're back up to 90 on Thursday in Des Moines and Ames, 91 in Fort Dodge, and then on Friday, back to the mid and upper 80s to close out the work week. So we're avoiding the high, high heat for the next several days. Still plenty warm out there, though. Wednesday looks to be mainly sunny. I think we'll see plenty of sun on Thursday as well. Next chance at rain and thunderstorms will be Thursday night into Friday morning. A fairly healthy batch of showers and storms looks to move across the area. Uh, during that time and while severe weather may not be widespread, maybe one or two of those storms is severe and there could be some locally heavy rain out of this cluster with over an inch possible in parts of central Iowa. Again, that will be welcome after a fairly dry stretch we have had recently. A few lingering showers and storms will be possible on Saturday and then we trend drier for the first half of next week. Whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast showing another push of cooler air coming. Uh, even cooler than what we're going to see on Wednesday with highs down to the upper 70s on Sunday should be beautiful on Sunday. Pretty comfortable through next Monday and next Tuesday as well.